hey everybody welcome back to my channel in today's video we're going to be doing acrylic toes so i start by using my sanding band i use the mini ones because i feel like you can get very very close to the cuticle area and the side walls and i'm just going to remove all that shine off the natural nail plate and you do this just so you won't have no lifting this is like the most important step so you do not want to skip it and then you also have to make sure you remove all the shine like you want that toenail to look very ashy and no shine at all so i do that and then i go ahead and kind of like shorten the tip of the nail because with acrylic toes i don't like to have a long natural nail then i'm going to use the young nails swipe i'm going to remove all that dust off and then that's going to be also dehydrating the nails use my young nails protein bond apply this two times to the nail plate okay so you guys i have plenty of videos on my channel that i'm doing acrylic toes so you can watch those videos just to make sure you're getting the hang of acrylic toes before you're trying this on a client i recommend that you try it on yourself first for the acrylic i'm going to be using valentino bad and bougie when i tell you I this color here has me on like a chokehold like i really like this nude it's like a nude and pinkish like the camera just don't even do it no justice i i'm like like i love it i really do like this color a lot with that first bead i did pick up a, a big bead like you didn't i didn't necessarily need all this acrylic but i rather it be longer than sh too short like if i'm what i'm saying makes sense i make sure i shape the side walls and then another thing and you guys know if you watch my um, previous videos you know that i'm always gonna say i add a couple of drops of acetone into my monomer so that way i have full control over the acrylic i don't like my beads to be super runny and if you notice how i place my bead down when i place that first bead down i will place it down but i will hold it just for a second and then i will release it just so my bead not running all over the place once you're working with a bead that's running all over the place it's hard to get it in control so you want to make sure you're picking up your beads the correct way and you know do what works for you one thing i can say is working with acrylic and doing nails period it takes a lot of practice it takes a lot of dedication if you're not consistent with this you're never gonna get it a lot of people ask me oh how did you start doing nails and how did you learn how to do nails so fast or what made you even start doing toes i was being consistent like that's the number one thing it doesn't matter if you are now nail tech been a nail tech for 20 30 years it doesn't matter how long you've been doing nails if you're not consistent you're not gonna have you're not gonna know how to do it like or you're gonna lose what you know like with me i feel like with especially like when it comes down to acrylic toes you have to practice on yourself first before you go and practice on other people or practice on somebody that you know because if you're doing something wrong you can literally cause that client to lose their entire toenail and nobody want to be walking around with a missing toenail and then another thing if you don't know what you're doing you know you can cause them to have a fungus a greenie it's a lot of different things you can cause somebody to have when you're you don't know what you're doing so number one practice first with somebody or on yourself and then go ahead and you know take clients once you know what you're doing take models not even clients yeah take models and you know for me recently i had to like post on my instagram you know taking i'm i need models just because i wanted to kind of like practice on doing different designs like i always get clients to come to me and they get the same exact thing right now where i'm at in my business i feel like i want to especially as far as like acrylic toes and i think it's be mostly because i just took the class recently and i'm just like you know i i need different styles i want to do different designs on toes and i want to get you know a different audience i want different clients clients that actually get their toes done not just 
oh this is a one-time thing so i did post that i needed models and you know i had a couple of girls ask me and wanted to come in as a model but i don't know is it me like if somebody asks you to come in well if somebody like y'all comment down below let's let me see if somebody asks you to come in as a model for whatever they're doing do you tip them or do you pay them for the service or like how does that work um i have have people come in to be a model and you know they don't tip they don't give me anything i don't get mad because at the end of the day i ask for a model i ask you to you know service me but then i'd be having girls write me on ig and when i say i need a model they'll say oh so you're gonna pay me girl what <laughs> why would i pay you to do your toes with my product as if you beyonce i don't know y'all comment down below and let me know what like how does that work? Because I think some people think they get it confused. And then me, if I'm a model, I have, you know, plenty of um, different girls that I do stuff for. Or, you know, that do stuff with me. Um, if I'm a model and, yeah, I'm going to at least tip you. Give you a tip. It may not be the full price of what you know you're um you you ask for for the service but i'm gonna give you a little tip but okay let me go on and show you guys what i'm doing as far as the french so with the french i kind of like do the outline first on the tip and then i do the sidewalls that's been the making me get back like, the perfect french you guys when i tell you lately i've been eating these french up like my french toes been looking so good if you don't know Go ahead and follow me on IG. I know IG gets the pictures first and gets the videos first before I even edit on YouTube. But, yeah, on my Instagram, I have everything. Follow me. Go ahead and watch my Instagram, Cassie Classy Nails, just like my TikTok. So, I'm going to be using the McCart Rhinestone Glue. Y'all know this is my favorite go-to glue. And I'm going to just give her like a blinked out toe. This was very different for me. This was her first time doing it. She's used to doing white toes. And I gave her French. I said, no more white toes. Mm -mm. And I'm so tired of doing white toes. Even French. I'm tired of doing French, but it's still a classy look. You know what I mean? But white toes on certain people starts to look like veneers. And I, I just don't be... Mm -mm. That ain't my cup of tea. And even lately, I haven't even been doing white toes on myself. I've been doing color. I've been doing pink. I've been doing French. I've been doing all different colors on myself because I'm so tired of white toes. There's other toes out here, like other colors out here that to try on your toes, basically. Like, let's do a different color. Let's do a light pink, a baby blue or something. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and blink her out. And then after that, I just go ahead and do a little bling on her big toe. I don't know. Y'all tell me what y'all feeling about this set so far. And this is a matte top coat. Like, I ain't gonna lie. No, it's not a matte top coat. I'm sorry. I didn't even add the top coat. This is just it matte. And I'm like, my French looking good. I really did that. Like, I really feel like now, ever since I took that class, that I see the improvements i'm doing basically in my work i see how much my work has improved my clients see how much my work has improved the other day i had a client and she'd been a, a client for me with me for a long time and she seen i did her toes and she was like oh yeah you I, I the whole time i told her i'm gonna go take a a toe class she like you don't need another toe class you don't need a toe class you know what you're doing you've been doing my toes for years you know what you're doing i'm like i know what i'm doing but i know where i want to be better at and when i tell you after i took that class and i did her toes for the first time she was like oh yeah yeah i like it i love it she loves my work and she been liking my work but it's like is better now so this is the final look you guys love it love it love it so much thank you guys so much for watching please like and subscribe and don't forget to leave a comment bye